Hello, welcome back. So thank you for joining me here. So today's video, I'm going to talk about, so I've made a video on how to pray. So I wanna make a video about why you need to pray. So number one, why is it important to pray? First thing is you need a prayer life because that is how you develop intimacy with God. When you are praying, I made this in my last video, you are not sitting and babbling on and praying for five minutes saying either the Lord's Prayer, like the Our Father, the Sinner's Prayer, whatever it is for five minutes and then peace out. No, what God desires from us, he needs us to give him time. He needs to hear from us. And yes, he already knows what we're going to say to him, but he needs us to develop this intimacy with him. And this is because we need to get to know God. God wants to know us. There's so many people that don't want to take the time to sit and know God. There's a lot of Christians these days that don't listen to God or don't know God. They go to church on Sunday, then during the rest of the week, Monday through Saturday, they're not doing anything about God at all. They don't even pray or they pray barely, you know, but they're not actually getting to know and sit with God one-on-one, -on -one, going to your prayer room, your prayer closet in secret with you and the Lord. This is written in Matthew 6 when he's teaching the disciples how to pray. So that's the thing that's extremely important is God wants this intimacy with us because prayer is a two-way street. I'm going to talk to you and then you talk to me, right? So I'm going to talk to God I'm going to praise his name first. I made this all in a video. I'm going to praise him first because he is the ultimate Omega Almighty. He is the Heavenly Father. Then I'm going to confess to him any sins or anything that has been on my mind when it comes to repenting of your sins. Number three, you listen. Listen, right? I like to listen to God first before I speak. But then there are days, of course, I might speak first because I might be dealing with a lot of things that are just heavy on my spirit. So I'll just vent to God. And I just talk to God like a best friend. People always say, how do you get to know God? How do I know God? How do I get close to God? Just talk to him. That's how you start. That is what prayer is. It's literally a conversation between you and God. And of course, with respect, with reverence, you are going to be talking to him in this way. Talk to him like a best friend. You know, you're not going to curse, you're not going to, you know, slander or do anything like that, but you're going to talk to God in a respectful manner, like you're talking to your father, right? So that's the thing, it's that God just wants people to be intimate with him. Intimacy is important to God. And I've learned this as well. When I, that's what changed my prayer life. When I make the time to sit with God and really pray and really talk to him and really hear his voice because when you start to have another prayer life number two you will start to hear his voice and he will guide you he still guides you before you hear him audibly he'll still guide you but it brings you closer because you have more intimacy that you'll be able to discern your voice versus his you'll be able to discern your thoughts versus his when you sit in silence when you listen when you don't just get up and leave because i was guilty of doing that i would sit for maybe five minutes and be like, okay, I can't hear God. I'm just going to get up and leave and maybe I'll hear him later. No, no, no. And we have to just sit and be present. And when we are present and we get rid of the, our own thoughts, because sometimes people get confused and whether it's their thoughts or God's thoughts, we have to pray that God really shows us that it is him. And the other thing too that I always do is that I, I get confirmation after I'm done reading i'll read my bible after i'm not talking to god i'll read my bible to get confirmation to know that it was god you know i always pray for confirmation for a lot of things and that's also really important so that's the main reasons of why it's extremely important to do that too number three is when you are talking to him this is when we start to lean in on trust because he'll start to tell you to do things and he'll start to open up your eyes to your will that he has for you and this is us also leaning into him to trust him so even what while we're going through the seasons that he's putting us through we still need to pray because there's going to be times where we're going to need strength he's going to make us do things that we may not want to do our flesh may not want to do but our spirit needs to do it god may tell you you need to forgive that person that you've been holding a resentment for but i'm telling you now that unforgiveness is people who have unforgiveness and resentfulness in their heart don't inherit the kingdom of heaven from the bible forgive us our trespasses we forgive those who trespass against us we say that in our prayer right in the our father it states that the lord's prayer 
So we need to let go of that unforgiveness. We need to let go of certain things. And there's going to be things that we need to pray to God to give us strength. Pray to God so that when I'm isolated, when I'm in my season of isolation, now all the people that I used to talk to, I don't talk to anymore because God is putting you in a season of isolation. Then you go through a period of loneliness because the devil tries to put things in your head and say, oh, look, you see, now you're alone. You're always going to be alone. Why are you doing this? Why don't you just go back to those people that God is trying to close the door for, that God is trying to close the door for? Because we always want to live for the flesh. This is why we need God to give us strength, to give us that strength. So that we know that when we are going through the seasons that he is putting us through, when we are going through the pruning seasons, when we are going through the isolation, through the singleness season, because he's going to close the door for relationships that people are not supposed to be in, that are not ordained from God. Because the devil sends people into your life too. Distractions. And I'm talking from experience. I've been through this. And when God isolates you, it is for a reason. You will get blessings at the end of it. But the devil will try to lie to you and tell you that you are not worth it, that all of these things, that you need to go back to that person because that's the devil sent that person. And this is why spiritual warfare, which goes back into it, is real. When you start to walk with God, expect to be attacked. When you start to walk with God, expect to be attacked because the devil does not want you to go to the path that God has for you right now. And this is why we rely on prayer, because without prayer, there is no works. Without prayer, I can't do anything. Without prayer, I feel like I, I, I wake up, and if I don't pray, I feel off. Because I know that I'm more prone to attacks. When you pray, when you're putting protection over you, when you're asking God to guide you, when you are doing these things, as well as, well as fasting, which I'll make a different video about, but when you're doing all these things, you are feeding your spirit and you're making intimacy with God. And that's what he wants. That's what he needs, not just wants, but that's what he needs from his people. And that's the most important thing of why prayer is important and why we need that. Because we can't rely on our own will. I can't rely on my own will. I can't rely on my own accord. I, when you're, when God is putting you through these things, when he's pushing you, when he's sanctifying you, when he's pushing you to be the person he created you to be, you're going to need him because there's going to be things that your flesh will not want to do it. Your flesh is not going to want to read the Bible. Your flesh is not going to want to fast. Your flesh is not going to want to pray. It's going to want to go outside and go party and go drink and go be on Netflix all day and do all these things that are going to distract you because that's spiritual, it's spiritual warfare. It's the enemy. And his spirits, his demons. So that is why prayer is so important. And if you need to know how to pray, I've made a video about this. But the most important thing is to just talk to God. That is literally it. Just start talking to him. Tell him. It says cast your anxieties. Cast all your anxieties on him. Cast all your anxieties, your fears. Lord did not give us a spirit of fear. Okay, so when you're feeling like that, that's when you need to talk to him the most. Because then that's us trying to rely on our own self. Like, I'm scared because of this and that. And I, the Lord delivered me from the spirit of fear. And he wants to do the same thing for everybody. And I always say all the time, he wants to do the same thing for everyone. It just takes us going to him. He's waiting. He's like this. He's just waiting with open arms for a lot of people. A lot of people don't know that God is just waiting like this. My people, come to me. My people, come talk to me. Come hear my voice. Come talk to me. That is what God wants. And when we go on our own will and own accord, that's when we get lost and then we get distractions and then we get our off the path. The word of God is the lamp. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. His word is a light that guides you to the path. So on top of prayer, you must read his word, which I'm going to make a separate video about how to read the Bible, what I do, what my routine is. And for me personally, my prayer routine is that I wake up, I pray day and night, and I pray during the day too. Like I'll just continuously always talk to God because without him, I, can, I will not be where I am. Where I am right now is because of him. And I thank him all the time. I praise his name. I listen to worship music. That's also a form of prayer. When you're praising and thanking him, glorifying him, just be cautious with what type of worship music you're listening to because there's a lot of artists right now that are not living the life of God. They're in it for the money. So gift of the sermon is extremely important. But yes, yeah, so that is it. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed and I will be making more videos shortly.